Man that's starting to make the big move and uh, I tell you what, any man's race from here as they drop out of sight and down the back section, Tommy. Thank you very much, Con. Well, uh, great. Uh, I don't like electric shocks from microphones. <laughs> The race leader, of course, is in the very, very capable hands of uh, Anthony Gunter, who rocketed to the fame uh, some few short years ago as a 19-year-old plumber from Wollongong. And believe me, he has dominated the scene in many, many respects right across the board. Trevor Williams is having a real battle there with uh, Stephen Gould for second place. He's starting to put the pressure on. He wants to make it a first and a second for the Kawasaki. But Stephen Gould, of course, will be one to uh, block his every move if he can possibly do it. But Anthony Gunter is establishing himself as quite a clear leader at this point in time. And that he certainly can't make any mistakes because Stephen Gould, being the professional rider that he is, and the opportunist, and that uh, very strong winning streak which uh, somehow dominates the... Uh, uh, frontal part of the brain system will uh, come to the fore but Anthony Gunter, the eyes are on him as he comes up into the main straightaway, handling the Kawasaki with superb and nonchalant ease it's the start of the halfway mark, <coughs> Anthony Gunter over the line, just ahead of uh, Stephen Gall, then uh, and we've got Trevor Williams, but look at the performance here of Jeffrey Leask on machine number five. He's coming up in the outside, looking for that opportunity to get through. And Jeffrey Leask is now up into uh, third position. And believe me, he's going to uh, challenge to the full if he can possibly do it. One, two, test, test. One out of noise. One, two, test, have a listen, test. One, two, test, test. Run out of noise. Out of noise, yeah. But we'll keep on going as the uh, rider's still out in front and battling on very well indeed. Man um, leading this event and going along quite well. Here. <laughs> Anthony Gunter from New South Wales still leading this event on machine number E. Stephen Gall in second place, Jeffrey Leask in third position. He's riding so hard. One, two, test, test. But you have um, Anthony Gunter still out in front. Stephen Gall in second place. Jeffrey Leask trying to get up into third place. Anthony Gunter still out in front on machine number E. Back there to Stephen Gall. Jeffrey Leask on five. What a great ride from him. Then back there to number H there. Trevor Williams, the national champion. Leask's on the outside of Stephen Gall. But um, nothing at all can stop them. Find him. Right, um, still the event continuing on, I suppose. Yeah, I think he's right. So uh, really and truly top action is um, Anthony Gunter from New South Wales still leading this event as they uh, drop through the back section. Jeffrey Lee's gone up in the second spot. Jeff Lees, the West Australian rider. He's passed to Stephen Gall, and what a great ride from this young 16 and a half year old guy who rides the Clem Nunn All Star Honda team. Gunter's right out in front and desperately trying to um, keep this lead. And by gee, this is one of Jeff Lees' most brilliant rides. The young West Australian boy, then uh, Stephen Gall on A. Back there to Trevor Williams on H. Over the top into the quarry area. 
the back of the uh, the back of the quarry area. Got anything back yet? Moving into the main straight now, the race leader still um, out in front. That's Anthony Gunter, riding very hard indeed. He's very quiet. Right, um, getting a little bit of sound there now. Anthony Gunter on machine number E. Back there in second place is uh, number five, Jeffrey Lee. Back to Stephen Gall on A. And Trevor Williams on machine number H. No, he's working on it. Yeah, might have done, yeah. Though he thinks there's water somewhere. We have a little lost. Can you hear us? We've got no power. The race is being led and led very well still by Anthony uh, Gunter. Tremendous uh, effort, you can see them now dropping over the mobile jump, down the mobile jump they go. Anthony Gunter, the green meanie from the Wollongong Motorcycle Club in New South Wales, starting to catch Jeff Leesk in second spot and he's uh, doing a man-sized job there now as there's been a real bad spill here, a very bad spill here at the end of the, um, the leap here. Riders are being told to slow down. <laughs> Louis Fancy goes to uh, this time get the blue flag for the race leader. But Anthony Gunt has done a tremendous job right from the beginning of this event he has set his sights on winning this race and um, he is not going to be uh, making many mistakes from here and in with about a lap and a quarter of left to go he's riding very hard indeed got the machine over the jump now moving up towards the lizard's leap across the line he goes on machine number e back in second place is a brilliant jeffrey least riding for the clem nun all-star honda team out there from kenwick then back to A, the national champion, one of the national champions, and Stephen Gould from the other current Australian 500cc champion, Trevor Williams, who is in uh, fourth position and certainly cannot peg back the brilliance of these riders here at the moment. He's finding the going very tough indeed. Over the mobile jump they go. Waiting for our race leader to come on to view of the camera now. There's our race leader now. Anthony Gunter. Very closely followed by Stephen, by uh, Jeffrey Leesk. Jeff Leesk. who's only about 50 yards behind the uh, race leader in Stephen Gall. I mean, Anthony Gunther, I beg your pardon. Stephen Gall's in third place. Trevor Williams up there in, uh, up there in fourth position, but they are in the closing stage of this event now. And uh, really great action as we um, come back into a little bit more sound. But uh, Anthony Gunter, the man from Wollongong, he's leading this event. And ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Leesk has really and truly made uh, um, himself really one of the greats here today with some brilliant riding. And he is up in second place. Stephen Gall's in third position. A brilliant rider is uh, getting towards the uh, closing stages. We've got Anthony Gunter now coming into the main straight area. Plunging down out of the quarry. There he is, the race leader. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony Gunter first. Jeffrey Leesk, a brilliant uh, position in second place. Then back to our third place man, number A for Arthur, Stephen Gall. Back to number H for Henry in uh, Trevor Williams. The A grade riders on the line now. Number 46 then is Keith Gill. Number 86 alongside of him is Glenn Biffin. Number 30, Peter Benson riding for Mako West. Number 44, Tony Renner. Number H, it's Trevor Williams from Kawasaki. 
Number 51, Peter Cooper, Witch Motorcycles. Then we find number E. E. Anthony Gunter. Up and racing now. And uh, Neville cuts that time completely dictated the start. He was the one that got the start of the press the button and uh, so consequently he got himself a flyer but that was to no avail. The race is now being led by Trevor Williams. Then back there to Stephen Gould. There's uh, Greg Tayama amongst them. There he's up in third place with a bit of a slingshot that time. Anthony Gunter who was a reasonably slow starter is, has to be content with being back there in fifth position and then a long gap back there to the rest of the riders. They all go over the top of that uh, big jump at the southern uh, part of the circuit as they drop out of sight now and will pick them up as they come through the next time around but by gee there's noted about the start that time as I said uh, Neville Cutts uh, had a real flyer at the uh, trap that time as they move through the back section heading up towards the big mobile jump they uh, take that sweeping left hander which brings them down to that big jump there is Trevor Williams the national champions out in front he's out in front Stephen Gauls in second place then we find Robert Woodward amongst them but I tell you what the uh, wet conditions has certainly put the cat amongst the pigeons and is making things a little bit difficult for these riders at this particular stage and makes life a little bit uncomfortable and they'd have to be very careful that they don't uh, do anything wrong. Trevor Williams there with 20 points. Stephen Gould has 13 points. Then back there to uh, young Robert Woodward, number six. Back to Anthony Gunter with 30 points. Greg Tayama. Then Peter Benson, Neville Cutts, Jeffrey Lease with 20 points. 51, Peter Cooper. Then young Shane Thompson. But a little bit of rain really hasn't um, interfered with the performance of a lot of the riders. A-grade riders they are and they can handle these conditions. They make no mistake about them because they uh, are really and truly trying very, very hard as you come into the main straight once again. Trevor Williams out in front, Stephen Gould trying desperately hard to peg him back. He gets up the main straight here, going towards the Lizard's Leap. They take this and negotiate it very successfully. Now Stephen Gould back there on the um, King George machine. Then Anthony Gunter up in third place. Further back to Robert Woodward, who throws a pair of goggles. Peter Benson, Neville cuts. Then Jeffrey Leask on the front wheel that time with Greg Tayama finishing over there in about sixth position. But I tell you what, Tom, the stage is set for a great race here. Certainly is, Con, and by Jingo's great performance going on from some of our West Australian riders there. They're uh, not to be outgunned with Robbie Woodward, Peter Benson. Then we've got Neville cuts. Further back to uh, Jeff Leask. And uh, the next rider through, I'm not able to uh, pick him up. It could be uh, Greg Tayama, but uh, great performance here. And what a start by Peter Williams, uh, Trevor Williams, rather, on the green meet. He certainly got into that corner first, even though they looked as though from this vantage point there were a whole lot of riders heading in that direction and could have beaten him, but out he came and uh, certainly had that green meet. He pointed in the right direction and he's kept in that position at this point in time, just ahead of the reigning uh, points leader in the Mr. Mo across series, namely Stephen Gall who has just about swept everything before him on the national scene, but the rider out front of course is a very com uh, competent rider and uh, Trevor Williams and is the reigning 500cc national champion and is on the big 490 Works Kawasaki disc brakes and of course the uh, Unilever tra track system and uh, shows superb handling and control and uh, certainly worthy, worthy of uh, your thoughts if you're thinking in terms of getting into the motocross field. Trevor Williams and he's increased his lead as they go up the top section of the track. Stephen Gore and of course snapping right at his heels now is none other than the flyer from Wollongong, Anthony Gunter. He's looking for the opportunity to get through because he's riding with sheer desperation. He's got 30 big points at this point in time. Trevor Williams of course is riding desperately to build up uh, his uh, Our point gathering system and Gunner comes through with sheer desperation and takes Stephen Gall as he goes over Lizard's Leap. Then we've got uh, Neville cuts up into fourth position ahead of Robbie Woodward and then Jeff Lees can follow then by uh, Peter Benson on the George Cowie Mike over to Yukon. Thanks so much indeed, Tom. Yes, a great action here as um, Anthony Gunter now up in second place and he's really rubbing salt into Stephen Gould's wounds today because the Kawasaki's have reigned supreme here at the Southern Cross, King of the Cross for 1981. 
Trevor Williams, the national 500 champion, out in front. Second place still at the moment is going very well. Is um, Anthony Gunter, Stephen Gould's in third place. Johnny McCarthy going past our broadcast position. You can always tell him he's got the long hair that uh, comes out the bottom of his crash helmet. And um, But uh, nothing can be taken from this man who's out in front at the moment. And uh, it's going to take a very strong challenge from uh, Anthony Gunter to see if he can peg him back. There's been two laps completed with uh, six to go as Trevor Williams out in front. And if he doesn't tire, he will be a hard man to beat. As they come now through uh, King's Corner over the Palms hump, and you can see him riding very well indeed there in second place. Anthony Gunter back to Stephen Gall. Then Neville cuts her own West Australian star. Then we find Robert Woodward. A long, long gap back there to number five, Jeffrey Lease. Then back to Peter Benson. Certainly um, not... Um Number 51 there, Peter Cooper's decided that the going's a little bit too tough. Young Greg Tayama on uh, T for Tayama. Then back to number four, Thompson. Graham Smythe uh, certainly not having um, one of his better days as far as motocross is concerned, although he is very well amongst the, um, the race leaders earlier in the event. As we see, Trevor Williams now completed three laps with five to go. Five laps to go. Gunter in second place. Back there to Stephen Gall in third place. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the riders are competing today for $9,500 prize money and $750 worth of trophies. Well, that brings you well over the $10,000 mark. Here for this big um, motocross extravaganza here today, the king of the cross for 1981. The race is being led at the moment by Trevor Williams. In second place is Anthony Gunter. Back in third place, Stephen Gall. And it's over now to Tommy Morrison. Thanks, Con. Well, uh, Trevor Williams has uh, really got the bit between the teeth as far as the Kawasaki is concerned and he's uh, maintaining that lead although not very far behind him now good uh, perhaps 30 metres is Anthony Gutter who is perhaps closing a little bit on him and uh, of course a very aggressive and determined rider is Anthony Gutter very very strong lad indeed and uh, we may see a bit of a challenge coming up but Trevor Williams going down strangers straight now and uh, I'd say about 25 metres ahead of Anthony Gutter and then about 30 metres behind him again is Stephen Gall on machine number A. Then further back to the uh, first of the West Australians, namely Neville Cutts on machine number O. Then we've got Robbie Woodward. Further back then to Jeff Leask on machine number 5. And about uh, 5 metres behind him would be Peter Benson on machine number 30. Then uh, I think the heading the next list through is Big Brad Thompson and... Uh, Glenn Biffin, and then further back, I think, would be uh, Graham Smythe there on machine number two. But meanwhile, on the top part of the circuit, coming down uh, the Poms Leap, is the reigning national 500 champion, Trevor Williams. And he'll be looking particularly good as he comes up towards the uh, Lizard Leap. <coughs> Trevor Williams on machine number H. And that's uh, four laps down. <coughs> Halfway point, Gunter just behind him, a few short metres, and in fact he's closing the gap now. And uh, then we've got Stephen Gall through, Neville cuts, and then we're looking, of course, for Robbie Woodward and Jeff Lees, and a bit of a battle going on between these uh, riders, and uh, they're trying desperately to get up there and to earn some points because I believe there is added incentive in a six... AM trophy for the best West Australian performer. So it'll be interesting to see who it is that comes out on top with that particular trophy which has been generously donated by Inland City Radio, namely 6AM Northern. Well up on the top side it's difficult to uh, see if uh, Gunter has got through it, I think it still might be in the hands of uh, Trevor Williams, but only a very, very slender lead indeed. And the two team riders are just uh, behind each other. But Trevor Williams it is, still out front on the machine number H, ahead of Anthony Gunter, team, fellow team Kawasaki rider on machine number E. Trevor Williams... 
Three or four bike lengths ahead of Anthony Gunter on machine number E. And then further back, and not putting in the best of performances, uh, but of course doing his utmost best as he always does, Stephen Gall on machine number A. On a production bike here today, his uh, works Yamaha, I believe, is still in the eastern states, undoubtedly being prepared for the... Uh, Next round of the Mr. Motocross series, which will be conducted in uh, South Australia next weekend. So a very, very interesting competition coming up for these three riders who are present out front. Trevor Williams still hanging on uh, that slender lead there on machine number H as they go past for the... Um time at Gunter looks as though he's uh, making in for the kill and uh, Con I'll leave you as Gunter takes over the rollers lead. Thanks so much indeed Tom. With the Narragin representative please come to the uh, base of the PA. The Narragin representative there are a couple of people here that want to nominate for your event in a fortnight's time. So here we find now the race is uh, unfolding once again and the story is being well and truly written by the man who's dominated this event today, the Wollongong rider in Anthony Gunter. Back there in second place, the Victorian rider in um, young fellow really doing a great job in Trevor Williams who rides for Kawasaki Australia. And then uh, our third place man last time through was Stephen Gall. And what a great battle um, we are having here with Jeffrey Leeskin, young Robert Woodward. Max Stepanis said going through an 82, but there you find the two green meanies out the back section. Not a great deal of um, difference in as far as their race order is concerned, but the man who's out in front has absolutely dominated this event. Spread eagled the field right from the start here, has uh, won everything he's got into, and now with an ace of taking off this, the third leg of the King of the Cross for 1981. Over the palms, hump he goes. So, there he is now, Greg Tayoma. Oops, that bike um, sounds like it doesn't want to go too well for him. Then the motor department, Neville cuts there on zero, but um, noted about the men who have dominated this event all day. Moving down through the back quarry section, which will uh, bring them into the main straight. Anthony Gunter, still leading this event and leading it very well indeed. As I said, um, Trevor Williams on H in second place. Anthony not the fastest starter in the world. He works from a long way behind um, Stephen. Uh, they've had David, which is an unusual tactic for a rider of his ability. It certainly is, Tom, but it means that he doesn't have to put uh, his heart and soul on the line as a lot of other riders do. When they get a bad start, they, uh, it seems to affect their confidence. He doesn't need that. But one thing I notice out there, they've even got pit boards. And uh, Trevor Williams was just told that he's got plenty of room and he even eased off as he came across that jump. And I think these two riders will ease off to the line now. But Kawasaki must be very happy with the way things are going today. Yes, I should imagine sales will uh, start to uh, rise, um, which just seems to be the trend when um, you have a winning bike, a winning combination. And there's no doubt about the green meanies. Um, they have dominated this. And you can look at the... Uh, Gates of Colin Bond and Alan Moffat. That's right. So uh, here we have um, Kawasaki running one and two. Not about this man who has um, led this event. He's coming up to lap some of the um, other A-grade riders, and I tell you what, it's um, an incredible thing when you think that he can come up and lap some of these A-grade riders who, in their own right, are absolute stars of motocross. So here we have Anthony Gunter on machine number E. In second place, machine number H. Trevor Williams from Victoria. Got a long gap back to machine number A for... A for Arthur, and that is uh, Super Stephen Gall. Louis Fanchi waiting in the main straight now with the uh, yellow, with the blue flag, which indicates one lap to go. Big Tayama, again, that machine seems to want to seize on him. It doesn't uh, really have the grunt that he does, needs from the machine. So we're waiting for our race leader now to come down the main straight, who has, uh, hasn't put a foot wrong all day, has ridden so brilliantly and so professionally you really cannot find words to describe the brilliance of Anthony Gunter here today a real professional at work as he goes across the line there Trevor Williams there on machine number H the um, Greg Tayama's run out of noise as I said 
You can see that bike really uh, wasn't um, going the way he wanted it to go. Anthony uh, Stephen Gall up in third place. Neville cuts then back to Robert Woodward. Then there's a long, long gap back there to um, young Jeffrey Leask, who's uh, not um, going as well as he did earlier in the event, but to take you through the closing stages, Tommy Morrison. Thank you very much, Con. To Peter Benson just going through and relieving himself of a little bit of a problem visual-wise and uh, throws his glasses onto the side of the track there. But uh, meanwhile, of course, right at the top part of the circuit and coming down uh, through the uh, jump now is the race leader, Anthony Gunter, just ahead of Trevor Williams. In fact, Trevor Williams is uh, catching up. I think if you're looking for the opportunity, so it should be a very, very tight finish if uh, Trevor Williams can keep that pressure on as they go down into Strangers Straight and into Smythe's Bend. And uh, the track, of course, is very, very slippery indeed, and riders will be choosing their lines very, very carefully. But uh, Tony Gun uh, Anthony Gunter going up now over the Palms Leap, and I don't think uh, Trevor Williams is able to uh, bridge the gap within the remainder time that he's got, and uh, may be content to just uh, sit in there, but of course, uh, every opportunity is a challenge. And there they go, up towards the top section of the track, and Tony Gunter, Anthony Gunter, the Wollongong Flyer is uh, right up the top part of the track, coming down now into Pom's Leap. And he's got himself uh, pointed in the direction of that checkered flag, which is now in the hands of Lou Fanchi. So here we come. Trevor Williams is uh, trying to come up and bridge the gap, but Anthony Gunner goes through, and uh, Trevor Williams content to hang back there into second spot, but a great performance from that rider. And, of course, nothing to be taken away from Stephen Gall there, who's working his heart out on that production bike, and he's up against uh, two fierce competitors with the very best of machinery that Kawasaki produced in the machines that uh, Anthony Gunner and uh, Trevor Williams are riding here today at the Southern Cross Circuit. There we have Zero, Neville Cuts, Team Honda, sponsored by Mules of Manjima. Number E, Anthony Gunter. Anthony Gunter has a clean sweep, 45 points. Trevor Williams in second place for 32 points. Neville Cuts has 24 points. Jeffrey Lease, 25 points. Stephen Gould, 23. And Robert Woodward has 17 points. And remember, Radio 6am are putting up a trophy for the highest point score as far as a West Australian rider is concerned. Riders now. On the line, number 86 there, getting ready for a start, is Glenn Biffin. Number 82, Max Papanasev. Alongside of him, Anthony Gunter. Number 44, Tony Renner. Number 30, Peter Benson. Number 86, Glenn Biffin. Zero, Neville Cuts. 440, Michael Figlamini, who's the workshop foreman for Ray Geneve, the uh, superstar of Speedway. Number four, Brad Thompson. Number six, Robert Woodward. Number H, Trevor Williams, the national champion. Number 226, Philip Hammer. Two minutes to go. Stephen Gall, zero. Oh, and the riders again dictate the start. As Anthony Gunther that time, just to um, prove us a little bit wrong, he decided he'd win the start. And don't tell me the Kawasaki boys are not out there meaning uh, big business here today. As you can see, Neville Cutts trying desperately hard. Remember, there is only one point separates Neville Cutts from Jeffrey Leask. And they're going for the Radio 6am award for the first West Australian home as Trevor Williams leads. Stephen Gall in second place, up in third place and going very well indeed as Anthony Gunter. Then you find Neville Cutts amongst them too. And uh, as they drop down out of sight into the southern part of the circuit, up towards those beautiful crops that are growing. And I'll tell you what, there'll be a few dollars around here and <laughs> around the, the next summertime. Bob Cousins will be able to extend his pub by twice the size so that when next year we all come up, we can probably get a beer and a little bit of comfort and Kojak won't punch me in the nose then. <laughs> no, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go, uh, they come down through the mobile jump and um, you see Trevor Williams out in front, Stephen Gall in second place, only about two or three bikes length 
behind in second place, but look at the acceleration of the Kawasaki. He takes into the left-hander here at Smythe's uh, bend, then straightens the bike up and heads it straight for King's Corner. Throws the bike in there and uh, gets a beautiful ride out of that turn. Over the palms up, Anthony Gunder in second place, then back to Neville, cuts then further back to number five, Jeffrey Lees. Then we find Peter Benson, Robert Woodward, 82, Max Tapana said, number 86 going through there quite well and uh, doing a great job there. That's young Glenn Biffin, number 44 amongst them there as well and he's trying desperately hard. That's Tony Renner who's on the 250cc powered machine but there's no doubt about the men that are out in front of this event and dominating it uh, oh so well as they drop down right out of the quarry as Trevor Williams is the third play, the second place man at the moment, first place man in this event I should say, but second place on the points he has 32, Anthony Gunter has 45 uh, and um, in the middle, Stephen Gould has 23 there we find Neville cuts, Jeffrey Lees fighting uh, very hard to try and peg him back Peter Benson, but I tell you what, Tom, Stephen Gould's going to make him learn this race if, you go, if they uh, think they can take it easy the way Stephen Gould's riding now. I think he's got that in mind, Tom, because uh, he's only just a few short metres behind uh, Trevor Williams as they go down to the southern slopes, and he's riding real desperate. And by Jingo's coming up also is uh, Anthony Gunter on machine number E. So it'll be sheer desperation between these three rivals because they are very, very uh, closely... Uh, separated as far as Mr Motocross points are concerned and of course very close rivals wherever they um, contest together but Trevor Williams what a starter he is and uh, here he is Stephen Gall has come out as the new race leader as they come down mobile jump Stephen Gall is out front then we've got Trevor Williams and very close behind him then is Anthony Gunter on machine number E Stephen Gall is coming down into uh, Smythe's Bend. Trevor Williams up on the high, wide and handsome line. And Stephen Gall, of course, realised a lot of pressure behind him. But he wants to build up for himself some valuable points to be part of that uh, big prize money that's being offered here today by the uh, Southern Gross Motorcycle Club for their seventh annual King of the Cross event. First time we've seen Trevor Williams and what a performance he's put up on this particular circuit. Both, of course, uh, other riders, Gaul and Gunter, both know the circuit extremely well, although it has been changed considerably, but the uh, basic part of the circuit is there, and these riders are giving their utmost as they're trying to pressure one another into all sorts of... Uh, problems and skills etc etc so it oh and Stephen Gall has gone over the handlebars a tremendous uh, leap wide over and it means of course that now Trevor Williams has gone and uh, Stephen Gall uh, Anthony Gunter rather has come up and we're not quite sure if just Stephen Gall but trying desperately hard there as you can appreciate and a clean sweep right over the handlebars meanwhile of course Trevor Williams out front ahead of Anthony Gunter and of course maybe a little bit of unsettling as far as these riders are concerned but of course that's motocross that's the calculated risk that you take when you enter into a daring sport like this and of course it'll be a very very dejected Stephen Gall who's undoubtedly feeling very very sore and very very sorry for himself over to you Con. Yes he certainly would be Tom uh, very unfortunate but uh, it hasn't been his day and um, as um a little bit, uh, he went very, very hard indeed. This is the 24th event, the fourth and final leg of the 1981 King of the Cross, and uh, the men out in front, they haven't made any mistakes at all. Right from the start of this event, as it started this morning, the story was very, very clearly in everyone's mind, particularly from the first event here today, that Anthony Gunter was going to be the man to watch, and uh, this young man who's led this event, Trevor Williams, as Tom said, the first time we've seen him at the King of the Cross, but by gee, what a star he is which will bring them through the closing stage of this event the 1981 king of the cross remember nine and a half thousand dollars in prize money there has also been seven hundred and fifty dollars worth of trophies as uh, trevor williams now uh, in the king's corner for the second last time over the palms hump he goes Anthony Gunter there, in second place on E, then back to zero, Neville cuts, back to number five, riding for the Clem Nunn All-Star Honda team, that's um, Jeffrey Leask. So the riders well and truly uh, 
knowing what it's all about and um, we could have a little bit um, of uh, the signs of what happened when Ford dominated Bathurst a couple of years ago when you had the both teams drivers going across the line when the uh, years of Moffat and Bond domination and here you have a similar sort of picture about ready to unfold because you can see what's happening the uh, blue flag is out one lap to go Trevor Williams out in front then Anthony Gunter although Trevor Williams seemed to um, move a bit further ahead that time Neville Cuts is starting to close the gap the pace a little bit slower by the uh, second place man although Trevor Williams is still keeping it on number five there back in um, fourth position still Jeffrey Lee. then a long gap back to Peter Benson on machine number 30 Moving to the uh, back section for the uh, last time, you can see the riders uh, well and truly uh, looking forward to that chequered flag when it comes through because they have had to work oh so hard here today in this uh, very rough and tough event for the King of the Cross for 1981. Robert Woodward passed out broadcast position as they dropped down through the mobile jump for the last time. Trevor Williams, who has led this event um, from the first lap, hasn't been headed. And now with about three quarters of a lap left to go, the big question is, will um, Anthony Gunn to get up and make a clean sweep? It'll be interesting to note because um, Anthony Gunter really hasn't done anything uh, desperate in this event and um, he doesn't have to either because he realises that the event his, is his for this year. All he has to do is to make sure that he finishes and uh, that's exactly what he is going to do here today. Neville Cutts is starting to close the gap. The team Honda rider riding for Muir's of Manjimup. Long gap back there once again to number five, Jeffrey Leask. But... Uh, Oh, tell you what, there's still um, a fair amount of racing up to the northern part of the circuit and the Team Kawasaki machines now realising the only about a quarter of a lap left to go. Sweeping in the left hander, there's uh, Anthony Gunter now right alongside that rider but Williams has a little bit more exp uh, speed there as they drop down out of the uh, hills there into the flat section. About 200 metres left to go. Now about 100 metres left to go and here it comes a finish and a half ladies and gentlemen. Why don't you put your hands together for Trevor Williams on machine number H then back there in um, second spot to a brilliant rider Anthony Gunter then uh, number zero Neville Cuts and riding for the Clendon All-Star Honda team coming up in fourth position is number five Jeffrey Lees ladies and gentlemen now the um, major award as far as the senior boys are concerned the king of the cross for 1981 and we're going to go from fourth place up to first place in fourth position with 33 points let's hear it for Jeff Leesk Well, Jeff, I want to say that you're an inspiration to any young rider. I think you're 16 and a half years of age, that you have made a tremendous contribution nationally as a junior rider, and to see you perform here so well, I think your number was number five, if I remember correctly, and to watch the way in which you turned on uh, an effort to run forth in such a prestigious event there is nothing but org as well for you for the future and I feel sure that there is everyone agrees with me what a fine young man we have here what a fine fine contribution he makes to the support and therefore to the sport and therefore on behalf of Castrol I present you with the fourth place for King of the Cross together I had to make sure they weren't going to give this to me but I said to them surely there's a check and there is for two hundred and fifty dollars to go with the trophy <laughs> Uh, firstly, I'd just like to thank Southern Cross Club for the tremendous effort into the track to get it right for this event, and they sure do take a lot of credit for the, today. Uh, I'd also like to thank the sponsors, Clemnon Honda, uh, Pirelli Tyres, ADV Helmets, and Castrol as well. Thanks. Good on you, Jeffrey. Good on you. Stay up here, Jeff. I think you should stay, Jeff. Um, second, I mean, third place today with 34 points, just one point ahead of Jeff, was the manager, my boy, Neville Cutts. Yeah! And ladies and gentlemen, whilst Neville comes up, there is an award for the very first West Australian home, which is put up by radio station 6AM, and Neville, in addition, has won that being the first West Australian home, so a really tremendous effort. Well, Neville, I know apart from the Manjimup Club, 
and apart from Dave Evans, but everyone else here wants to congratulate you on a tremendous effort. I noticed that you couldn't fail to be successful. I noticed the camp with the flag flying over there in the background, and therefore Manjimup must have made a wonderful contribution. But uh, therefore, Castro have presented the third prize for King of the Cross. I feel sure that you'll con you will still make a great contribution in the future. I feel sure that everyone joins me in congratulating you on a great effort and also together with a cheque for $500. And uh, 6MD, 6AM, 6AM, that's at Northam. Is the radio station of Northam, and the, uh, I think the manager of it is a Mr. Cousin somehow, and uh, we've been enabled to uh, get some sponsorship for them, and so they have the Radio 6 AM have made the best WA performance in the 1981 King of the Cross. Congratulations there too. A beautiful presentation. Very good. Uh, thank you. I'd just like to thank the Seven Cross Club for holding a very good event today. I think that if more clubs had events like this throughout Western Australia and brought top riders from Eastern States, it would be a lot better for everyone. I'd like to thank Castro for this nice trophy and 6am for the fine tray. Uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, uh, Mules Honda and Honda Australia, Castro, BP, Stadium Helmets, and I'd just like to thank everyone else for coming along today, making a very good event. Thank you. Stay, stay, stay. Don't, don't you stay up the top so we can have a good look at you. Ladies and gentlemen, in second place, and what an impression he has made on all of us here today, a national champion, Trevor Williams with 47 points. Well, um, first of all, I just want to thank um, Dicko and all the rest of them for, for putting a really good show on. They've done so much work on the track, and it really is a credit to them. Um, I'd also like to thank everybody for coming up and, and sort of making the day possible. And of course I've got to thank my sponsors, Kawasaki, for supplying some really good bikes, um, Castrol for some good oil, uh, Dunlop tyres and uh, the nylons I ride, which are coho. So, and I'd also like to thank my mechanics, Kevin Doyle, um, Peter Marmot and Peter Doyle for doing a really great job. Thanks a lot. Good on you, Trevor. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure this is a very popular victory. The King of the Cross for 1981 with 57 points, Anthony Gunther. Well, I'd just like to thank uh, Southern Cross Motorcycle Club and everyone that pitched in yesterday and rebuilt this track virtually. They've done a heap of work on it, otherwise water, I think. Uh, they've done a fantastic job and it, it worked really well. Um, I'd like to thank Bob Cousins for doing so much work, as he always does for this event and all these hangers on. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, uh, Kawasaki Motors, uh, for supplying the best bike. Uh, nothing went near them today, as we've proved. Uh, I'd like to thank Dunlop Tyres, Castrol Oil, uh, City Boots, Bell Helmets, Golden Breed and Q Cola. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what about three cheers for four great riders? Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Well, Mr Brown, thanks so much indeed for giving us your time this afternoon, helping with the presentation of the awards.